I'm more like this. Eh? <laughs> As I declare you so. The matter with the boss every says I declare you so. Eh? Finally, finally. Although oh, there's a struggle of force, Supreme Court now don't finally fix date for final judgment between the, uh, the case between the uh, Article Labour Party, uh, Peter Obi, and uh, uh, PDP. The date will be fixed now for this judgment now tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow, October 26th, 2023. <laughs> because the matter shock everybody because I just didn't want to make enter the street of the social media slash. I found it happen every day when it's over. Supreme Court, so now if you fast like this, ha! Anyway, my favorite, the full details of this news come out before I will give you some reactions because many people they talk some kind of things after the judgment, the kind of different fair plans so people get. Listen and be blessed, first of all. He said the Supreme Court has fixed Thursday for the judgment on the appeals filed by the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubaka, and the Labour Party, Peter Obi, respectively. Atiku and Obi are asking the Apex Court to set aside the judgment by the Presidential Election Tribunal, which affirmed the election of President Peter uh, Bola Tinubu. The Supreme Court's direct, uh, Director of Information, Dr. Festus Akonde, in a telephone call on Wednesday, told Punch that the judgment on the appeals had been scheduled for tomorrow. He said tomorrow, Thursday, has been fixed for the judgment on the appeals brought by Atiku and Peter Obi. Safari reporters had reported that the Supreme Court res uh, reserved judgment in the appeal by Atiku and Obi. A seven-month panel of the court led by Justice John Okoro, had made the announcement after lawyers uh, to parties adopted their briefs of argument and made final submissions. The court also took arguments from lawyers to parties on the motion filed by the appellants to supply fresh evidence. Appellant's lawyer, Chris Uche, SAN, urged the court to grant the motion and allow their appeal, grant the prayers sought and uh, disqualify Tinubu. On their part, lawyers to respondent at uh, Abubakar Mahmoud, SAM, for INEC, Chief Wale Olani Pekun, SAM, for Tinubu, and Chief Akin Olujimi, SAM, for the APC, urged the court to dismiss both the motion and appeal for lacking in merit. Sahara reporters had reported how Atikwa appealed against the ruling of the uh, Presidential Election Petition Court at the Supreme Court of Nigeria. The suit marked that number was filed was filed Atiku and the PDP as the appellant, while the uh, INEC and Tinubu and the APC are the respondent. The appellant in the notice of appeal said they were dissatisfied with the decision, more particularly stated in paragraph 2 herein, contained in the consolidated judgment of the Court of Appeal, uh, sitting as the Presidential Election Petition Court, Kurum Haruna, Simon, uh, Simon Samani, uh, St Stephen Jonah Ada, uh, Mr. Tura Omodiri Bolaji Yusuf, uh, Boloku Roma Moses Ugo, and Abba Belu Mohammed, delivered 6 September 2023 in petition number that code between Abubakar and, uh, and Anno versus Einek and two others particularly contained from pages so so and so of the consolidated judgment, as well as the concurring contributions and rulings thereof, both uh, dot hereby appeal to the Supreme Court upon the grounds set out in paragraph 3, and will at the hearing of the appeal seek the relief set out in paragraph 4. The Presidential Election Petition Court had dismissed the petition filed by the PDP and Article challenging the election of President Bola Tinubu. The tribunal also dismissed the petition of Peter Obi of the Labour Party, challenging Tinubu's election, describing it as unmeritorious. Anyway, now the juicy command as the news fall out, before it happened, I be gay, different frame, people got to react to the matter. Uh, and nobody just going to talk how uh, what make them bring this judgment so fast like this. So Nigeria to just already feel fast like this. For example, one uh, brother Bass can talk say legalizing illegality by the Supreme Court must be opposed at all costs. Number one, it was announced that the Supreme Court judgment will be on November 2nd, 
Now, here it's brought backwards by a week to November 26th. How come the judgment is ready ahead of time? Number two, the honorable justices must be clear on this. If it is all aimed to traverse justice on the altar of technicalities, then they must take it to the bank that injustice will be rejected at all costs. Nigeria must breathe and our children must be handed down the future they will be proud of. Number three, I enjoin Atiku, PDP, and Peter B and the Party, as well as all well-meaning Nigerians, home and abroad, to vehemently reject and uh, reject any judgment by the Supreme Court that is based on technicalities. Number four, enough of all this judicial bullying of Nigerians. Now that I talk, and that person got to say, so Supreme Court can have powers to deliver judgment very fast and within a very short time and notice. And we have number of cases unattended to with so many adjournments for years. The judiciary needs a total overhaul. Nine one pairs. Can't talk say ah. What was it? They want to adjudicate on it before the FBI files are released. If not, the pressure might be too much. My pin tweet has aired my thoughts on this whole thing from days ago. So one Frank Francis can't say in my eyes. Is my eyes confusing me? So they can be this fast in writing the judgment, and Nigeria is still in this mess. So all of these, uh, so all of the sudden, the Supreme Court have the magic wand to fasten things up. In the space of five days, judgment is coming. What a mystery! Anyway, it is either the redeem or we perish. One Tony Odo Kanto say, it is now clear to us that all we do, uh, it is now clear to us all that we do not have a, a country. Nigeria is just a situation, a simulation, if you may. May I, my lord? One Akin Kotok say, It is commonplace to be worried, but the fear inside Tinubu's camp are of two types, in both ways reactions, regrets. Either way, Tinubu is a loser. Now, Tin Akin talk, not be me, talker. One uh, Lady Ru Kotok say, My thing is, why did the FBI give this public announcement with? such a long period of wait before the release of the said documents. No president, especially the likes of Tinubu, for that matter, given the, the issue at stake, will decide to do nothing. October is mostly over. Pakam, praise the Lord. So, my dear, update will come today as I make a clear now. Normally, tomorrow, as I don't clear before, say, I know they really expect anything positive from this uh, Supreme Court judgment. We don't, we don't come, we don't come, but we go, as we don't start the matter, we must follow them to the end. I'm going to they give updates on what they saw for the Nigerian lifestyle because we will not get another country. Now, only this country that we get. Anyway, just thank God for everything.